I have been working on magic. Magic? Yes. Magic. I have a card trick I would like to show you. Okay. 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 This is this is cutting edge. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like a breakthrough. Almost? Mm-hmm. But not quite. Should we try it out? Yeah. This will <laughs> be a, this will be the premiere on this one. Okay. Okay. So you know about these. These are cards, these you know, cards. You, you play with them, right? What I'm gonna do, should we show them? Yeah, show show them. those cards. Can you see those? Camera guy, camera guy, there he is. Focus, focus, focus. So it's a whole bunch, right? What I'm gonna do is ask you to help me. And I'm gonna fan these out like this, and I want you to choose any card that your heart so any, desires. Any, any Did you card? get one? That yeah. one right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, what? So. <laughs> want to put it back? Nope. <laughs> I want you to write your name on it. Okay. So that you know that nobody's been messing with it. I'm not going to look. You're not going to look. You're not going to watch me write my name. But if it helps, your name's Peje Monet. <laughs> you know, right now, I think mm -hmm, I need to mm -hmm. have that reminder. Okay, you got it? No. Got it? I have to write my name. Take your time. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. we wrote your name there so you can be sure, more so I can be sure you don't change your mind on which card it is. <laughs> okay. Do you think I do So that? put it back on there. Okay, just like yeah, this? Yeah, like there, and put this back on top of that. Okay. Good. Now, put those back in the box. Okay. Just Tell me when it's safe. Not safe. Is I'm it safe to come out? It's going to take a little while. <laughs> we need some wasting time music. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> okay. You now. People? Or do you want them back? Give them. <laughs> uh, I'm now going to proceed by magical methods to name your card, okay? Okay. Your card is named Charlie. No. no. Charlie, that's the name of your fish. That's right. Did you want to talk about that? <laughs> okay. okay, actually, I think I can predict what your card was, the one you chose, the one that has your name on it, okay? Really? Um, Ace of Spades. <laughs> no. You changed it? <laughs> <laughs> I um, didn't get that one. <laughs> okay, one more try. King of hearts. That would have been nice too. <laughs> Clubs. <Nope>. Diamonds. <laughs> spades. <laughs> King of spades. Nope. You know, tonight I wanted to talk about hydrogen. <laughs> um, I can see that. It, it turns out that uh, we were talking about hydrogen not long ago, and mm -hmm. I was telling them how Mr. Mitchell blew up a balloon full of hydrogen using an electrolysis apparatus like this one right here. That's In fact, it's mean. exactly like this one, with your permission or without. <laughs> <laughs> that is neat. I'm going to turn it on. Hmm. Turn it on like so. So now the power is coming out of this box through these two wires up to these two electrodes. And if we get a close-up on this, you can see that right around, look, focus, right around these electrodes, bubbles are forming. And then if we pan up so we can see where it's been running a well, while, notice that this one has twice as much as this one. This one, then, is oxygen. This one is hydrogen. And the water is being ripped apart by, by electricity and we're getting hydrogen, we're getting oxygen. Um, this was the demonstration that Mr. Mitchell did for me, and I had no idea that this little demonstration was gonna completely change my future, my life, and a lot of things. Uh, we'll let that cook for a few more minutes. I want, I want to pan down just a little bit so you can see these levels. So the hydrogen is bubbling up one side, the oxygen's bubbling up the other, and up here, I wanna be able to see there is twice the volume of hydrogen produced as there is oxygen. And that's, that's kind of a neat thing, isn't it? it is. Okay, well, we'll let that cook for a minute. Actually, <laughs> probably not correct, call it cooking. <laughs> but uh, some real interesting things are happening in the hydrogen world. Did you know that the government, just in the last few months, has allocated eight 
billion dollars for hydrogen demonstration projects, plus seven billion dollars to build more hydrogen refueling stations. Wow. It's really starting to catch on. Um, it was in 1965, now, now wait a minute, just a minute. Tobias is always saying, back in the 1800s <laughs> or something, 1965, that was a long time ago. It was before I was born. <laughs> anyway, back in 1965 was when, after seeing this demonstration in the ninth grade, we built the very first hydrogen car. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't help, did I? Yeah, kind of stood me up. <laughs> but at any rate, so I have worked on this hydrogen car all those years, 50 plus years. We had a 50th anniversary, and I thought, whoop dee doo. But nobody was really using it yet, and now all of a sudden they're starting to catch on. It is so exciting to have a dream like that and then to see it come, come true. Now, did you know that I have a Bertha? Remember oh, Mr. Yes, Benz? I he do. had a Bertha. I do. She took the car out and showed it around. Well, I have a Bertha too. And uh, <laughs> I want to show you a picture of the red hydrogen powered Monte Carlo. Okay. And this car we used as the very first demonstration of a car running on liquid hydrogen. This is hydrogen cooled very, very cold so that it would store a large amount in a, in a container. And we, we had a tank full, but it was the first car that really could go a great distance. And so we went on a trip one day to a, a family reunion. We had to drive up through the canyon and across to the reservoir dam. It was a long trip. And I remember the exhilaration of thinking, I built this car. I didn't build a little car, but I built the hydrogen system. Right. And it worked, didn't it? My Bertha says yes. <laughs> Thank you. OK. Well, I want to go back now, if I can take you back before 1965, to clear back to 1962, when my Mr. Mitchell science teacher did this demonstration. And I want to show you how it works, OK? So we've got a balloon that's inflated with hydrogen. And if you don't mind me showing my back to the audience, I will take this balloon off. Hydrogen balloon. This is a hydrogen balloon holder, as you can see. Oh, I hopefully get this jammed in here just right, like that. Can you see that OK? Mm -hmm. And this page is a hydrogen igniter. Oh, yeah? Do you remember we were told by Tobias that Bertha's husband had a hydrogen igniter? Well, this is mm -hmm. mine. Only, I don't like to get too close to the fire, so I'm going to see if I can ignite the fire from a distance. Are you ready? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is that your card? That's my card with my name on it. And that makes my point. Hydrogen is magic. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a souvenir. It is. That's awesome. It's a little burn around the edges. It kind of is. Uh, so did you see the explosion? Yes. Yep. That was water being made. And when I saw that for the first time, I thought, wow. You could power cars with no pollution. Mm -hmm.